All right, guys, I'm going to get right into this video. Kind of later than I normally want to get these recaps out. I just had a lot going on here on the Monday. It's the 7th. Good start to December. Markets haven't moved a whole lot. Uh, vol the volatility of vol, vol of vol has been actually very low. VIX is around 20. Uh, but still, you know, historically high, but not relative to where we come from. You know, this crazy year, crazy COVID year. So listen, today I want to just highlight what we did in the live room, the trading. There was some good, a couple of good lessons I thought about this morning. Hopefully I can remember them. I just wanted to bring up for you guys to do your post analysis on the team and anybody that's maybe new, you guys in YouTube land, getting shit for free. Um but it was mostly NASDAQ and S&P. And then uh, I talk about kind of what I'm doing this week as far as promotions. Uh, if you join the team, I wanted to give away some tech because I'm always thinking about, okay, what moves me forward? What's going to benefit you as a trader? It's always the technology, more information, more learning, more investing in yourself, getting around better mentors, getting around um, people that are where you want to be and just kind of moving that association forward so anyway i'm kind of upgrading some of my tech i thought i'd make some promos here for call it like a cyber week so i'll get into those deals um but asia is kind of opening up and a lot of you have been asking me about i'm not going to give away everything because obviously this is for my coaching clients and everybody that's in the prop team when we're working as a team doing trading together and then you have you guys have the opportunity to bring up anything and everything really and some of you that are on the team you're way too quiet i mean i've been around a couple of big traders and i i would ask some questions daily if i'm getting to trade live with them i mean it's like why'd you do that what do you think about this what do I... some of you guys get you're missing out on you're just kind of sitting there wanting me to trade for you um so anyway you get both but I think what's really key when you're some of you are doing the right thing, and you're asking me, well, well, I'm struggling with trading two pairs on different time frames. And that's a conversation that kind of goes across multiple durations. I mean, you could be swing trading, have longer term positions and day trading, and you're trying to do it across different asset classes, whether it's stocks or like the dollar and metals. Um. But I just wanted to highlight a couple things here today that's just specifically to equities. So you want to keep things simple. Trading isn't easy, but it's simple. The simpler you keep it, the easier it'll be. All right. It's like what I always say with the Navy SEALs. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. What does that mean? If you're frantic all over the place, you kick in a door and you're just frantic. You're trying to be all fast and you're, you're trying to go a million miles an hour and you're just a mess. You can't pull back the slide. You drop your ammo. You're, you're, you, it's not smooth and it ends up costing you more time. You want to be slow, smooth, and then smooth ends up being faster, especially in trading, because then you're not making all the stupid mistakes. You're not all over the place. Just keep it simple. Keep it smooth, relax. Don't be pressing all the time. That's that's the opposite. A lot of times you guys need to trade less, not more. I'm kind of watching this NASDAQ come down. Um, short S&Ps too, a little bit. Might lean on it. Um, but yeah, so let's, give me one second. Actually, I want to fade this. Selling some more S and P. I'm not going to buy more Nasdaq just yet. Okay, uh, that's fine. Okay, so okay, so I want to highlight a few things. So. Simple cycle work 
And then what we talked about today was getting inside of the five minute, getting inside of the one minute. And when, I'm just going to, I don't want to give everything away, but just give you a feel for what that means. And then uh, you guys realize the high level stuff that we're doing in the prop room. So even, even right now, you can see this bar here on the five minute, the NASDAQ over here. If I put up the hourly, you've got an hourly cycle that starts came in, coming out of London this morning. I can already tell this video is going to be long. Okay. Rally. Okay, look at this, look at this cycle. Here to here, okay? The cycle starts to turn up before the low in price, but it pretty much top ticked the market, okay? Simple, 30 minute, gonna be a little bit more precise. This was the low I meant coming out of London, three, four Eastern. The high was made into our lunch session. Uh, okay, 30 minute. And then you had another afternoon cycle, which was the second spot we made money. I did today, scalping around. So just if, if all I did was give you those settings and teach you a little bit about cycles and which time frames are already broken up in a fractal way, and then all you got to go in is be like, oh, okay, let me just pay attention to when I'm low in the cycle with the trend and when I need to be getting out. You, your edges and your risk reward would be amazing. And you, it's, it's game over from there. It's can you stay disciplined? Can you keep your risk reward ratio, your risk management? That's what's the challenge. Right, 15 minute cycle, we help high. Um, okay, but what I also what I wanted to, wanted to say was staying inside of the five minute trend. So this is the 15 minute. Notice you held pie down here, all right? But before that, there was a drop. And if I bring back the hourly, Sunday night, Drop low. All right. What is this? Cycle back up. One, two. This was the bulk of your two moves this morning. So, what I mean by staying inside, so this is, I'm drawing this on two screens over here, top of the hourly, bottom of the hourly cycle, top of the hourly. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now watch inside of this five minute, how, how it looks different. Okay. Sunday night, you're in an uptrend as we define the five minute and the one minute. I mean, the one minute's technically going a little bit bearish here and there, but I don't teach you guys to trade like that. The 15 minute and five minute were bullish here. Now, right in here, things change. If you're holding on to longs in here and here, and then you're, you're thinking as well, I'm just gonna keep buying a dip. You're not gonna be able to sit through this cycle. Okay, the end of this cycle down into pi, if you're not willing to stay inside the five minute and one minute trend, you're not going to be able to sit through this drawdown and not be down like three, four grand on a NAS on a couple NASDAQ contracts. So what I teach you is if you're long, you need to be on the other side with the pairs trade and short something else like S P. So you could have been short S P here, short, 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 cover, 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 short, 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 more, short, more, short, more cover make a bunch of money in S and P's between here and here. And then you can turn around and get long at pi. 
So that's the risk management part where it's like, if I'm long here and that's not working, maybe I have to start cutting risk, stopping out, cutting risk here on NASDAQ. If I'm playing NASDAQ long, maybe I try a long, let me erase some of this for you guys. Maybe I try a long, Maybe I'm back long here. Boom, boom, make money. But guess what? I'm still on this downtrend. I'm still needing to sell rallies with the cycle. There's plenty of reasons to want to be fading this or getting out of my long. And then guess what? Boom, you have a chance to trade with the five minute here. This is what I mean. You're inside the five minute on this, again, this down cycle. That was the 30 minute, this part. That's not over yet. So there's, yeah, there's contrarian longs at pi, but then you still work in the short, work in the short, making money on the short side. Now over here, time for the contrarian longs. All right, and then you had a full cycle up. He had several good cycles up. This is a 15 minute, but I showed you already that the 30 minute lasted all morning. So that's the gist of it. I'm obviously not going to give it away for free how we put all those things together. But if you guys are in the prop program, we're going to get some of that. But really, today, I mean, I didn't get, I wasn't trading the London session. So the bulk of what I came in was like, oh man, we're already up so much from this 15 minute, the 15 minute and 30 minute cycles were high. Then we opened up right here. I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to chase it. We had all this strength with no one minute pullback. So eventually we just like got long in here, sold some out, played the short side of S and P's. And I got long more NASDAQ a bunch of times in here on this, cycle and then that was it so i played a little bit of this missed all of this missed the, the easier money which was the bottom of the 30 minute cycle bottom of the 30 minute one two on the long side. I missed the easier money, but I caught a little bit of that here, up to here, here, here. And then I caught a lot, a better portion of this, which is this cycle. And you guys should be able to, you guys, some of you did, but you don't need me to always walk you through everything. You know the process. I told you when we were up here, we, most of this morning move was over and then you have to wait for another 15 minute, 30 minute cycle. And sure enough, we pulled back. I mean, look at the one minute chart. We went from, once I said, all right, this is this cycle, it's pretty much over. We have to sit through the 15 or 30 minute cycle. And sure enough, just lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And then here, Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. This was the turn with the 30 minute. Again, look over here. This is a 30 minute chart. This better be on the right chart here. I was making a mess. I'm sharing the wrong screen. 30 minute. This was the turn. I teach you guys how to trade these turns. This was an inverse head and shoulders classic, but most people only see the turn here. They only see the inverse head and shoulders, the neckline, and they think that's the entry. No, 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 no. There's spot to buy there, there's spot to buy here. This is the best spot to buy right here. I was, uh, this is where I made most of my money today was, was, here, here, and here. 
I got the most aggressive on this, the right-hand side of the cycle. I call this the right-hand side. This is the left-hand side. This is the right, left, right. The bottom right here is the boom, boom. Take, take, take. And this is just, this is just a lot of back and forth into the close. These machines are going nuts. I sold out of here and I just didn't want to play with the last, because fit, last 15 minutes go down, come right back up. That's pretty much what happened. Like, I don't, I got 2,500 bucks on a slow Monday. I don't want to get like, give that all up in the last 10 minutes of trading. It's just the worst feeling ever. But there's a turn here, there's a swing line. Guys, there's so much stuff that's so obvious. But the key is not to just be a buyer here. The key is to know how to play it here, here, here. And part of that is knowing and having the short side of here, 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 and S&Ps, which I did. So I'm jumping around quite a bit. <clears throat> There's S and P's, short, light, maybe two contracts. While most of the morning is long, there's a long NASDAQ, long, 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 taken into the highs, sold the high, took profit, bought a little bit, sold, bought a little bit, a little bit, sold the, 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 the right-hand side of the cycle turning. And then I, would, I, then I got patient. I only had one buy here. And then my other buys are right on the lows, right on that, right on that inverse head and shoulders I talked about. I was buying there, I bought here, and I bought here. The reason I could start a lot up here and then sit through that type of drawdown and then buy heavier on the low was because I was already fading, contrarian the short side of this cycle. And then look right here. I got a heavier. This was like, I think my biggest sale on S and P's. I hit it down hard, covered. It bounced on the one minute and five minute and I hit it twice. Boom, boom, short, cover, cover. So I made, I was make, I was up on the day on S and P and up on the day on NASDAQ. And then now I just have like, I've, just have the opportunity to buy the lows again at the bottom of a 15 minute, 30 minute cycle. And look at this money, 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 money. There's, I mean, I was in and out on this 30 minute cycle on the long side, just ching, 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 day over. So this is what we do guys. This is how you do both sides. I don't know what else to show with you other than if you want to learn how to start making one to five grand a day, 10 grand a day. I've had $50,000 days trading directionally, not like long a bunch of options on some vaccine bullshit. And you just, you have no edge. You're just hoping for news. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a methodical process. You could apply to bonds, to equities, to Forex, to crypto. It's a process. I don't care the asset. I don't care the time frame. It's a directional model that we deal with trend and we deal with cycles, which is about time. Everything cycles. The universe is based on energy and we're constrained to the dimension of time. It's up, down. That's how energy travels, wave formation. And guess what? That's divisible, divided by time. It's the same thing that goes through markets. You can chart anything. It all cycles, your heartbeat, longer term astronomical cycles. I don't care. You even start flipping random coins and guess what? It cycles. <clears throat> I've got data. You can go read Mandelbrot's book on that. Cycles everywhere. That's like the fundamental key to the universe. It's fundamental to our model. So that's a lot of teaching there. Um, Hope that helps. I wanna just tell you guys how to join the team. Today, this is our prop team. I'm really proud. This is one of my guys out of Spain. I mean, this is, he's not even like halfway trading today. He's on holiday. Amazing. Um, 
here's my 2500 I did on a slow day. But we're keeping track of our stats. This is what I work with you guys on the, the prop team. It's about moving you from doing something where you're learning or you're maybe you're new to trading or you've been trading for a long time. You want to break through that level, but you you know, it's just sharpening your your skills and um iron sharpens iron, but you got to be on the winning team that's uh, like challenges and pushes you to get better. Are you keeping track of your stats? What's your routine like in the morning? Are you working out? What's your mindset? Uh, you know, um, back to the process. But here's one of my guys, 1300. He's been on fire this month. Um, thousand bucks. This was, what was this me earlier in the day? Yeah, that was me coming out of my SP NASDAQ. So you guys can do this. We've, I've trained coming up on a hundred traders since I started this firm independently training guys. I've traded, I've only trained six or seven, not even six, six guys on the institutional desk. All went on to be successful and I traded institutionally for 10 years. So in one fifth the time we've trained almost a hundred global traders gone through this process. Um, so we got it down, you can do it. And then the other side of that too is, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna help you with, get you equipped, get you the knowledge, you're gonna be on the team, you have everything working in your favor. But then the other question is, well, do you have enough capital? And look at some, there's just some of the other games I was talking about. This was long bonds covered, there's three grand. I'm showing you guys this because this is what the program is worth. I mean, NASDAQ, there was a $3,000 day. In addition to some of the other accounts I trade, there's long bonds or ultras way out the curve. So we're core trading, swing trading, just picking 1400 bucks off the VIX. I'll teach you to trade vol if you want. Um, just this is just a lot of consistency here, guys. And once you learn the process, it's it's just about being disciplined, putting the work in. NASDAQ, another $3,000 a day. Now that was a good day. 5,500, I think that was, I was into lunchtime. Um, so you guys can do this. Oh, about getting capital. Um, so I went out and said, you know what, the best way group that I know to partner with globally is, is top step. They just changed the look of their site. Um, but this is what I've gone through their $150,000 buying power. You can trade up to 15 contracts, which is amazing. And I, and I always put things in perspective for people because sometimes some of you never made a lot of money. And so you have kind of a broke mentality just to be blunt. 375 bucks a month. I used to pay two grand for a Bloomberg, 10 bucks a ticket charge, which is a commission to run it through the clearing firm. I would do 100, 100 trades a day on average. That would be a thousand bucks a day. It was 20 grand a month just for me in commission. Okay. Pay a back office guy. Maybe you pay him five grand, which is, I don't know, I guess that's probably standard these days. 60 grand a year. Um, and then you've got your like, you've got your quote feeds probably because Bloomberg is just going to give you the pricing, but then you need to pay for the quotes. So you're paying CME quotes. Maybe that's another 200 bucks, probably closer to $400 a month. It's costing you probably just 25 grand, 25 to 30 grand to trade professionally. And I had, I had buying power to tr trade cash bonds. Like I'd be long a hundred million tens intraday, but then I'd have to close out the trade. I could go long five to 15 million tens overnight was kind of my risk. They let me take overnight futures. That's it's one tenth, but the buying power is so much better. So 15 contracts, guys, just to put up a two to $5,000 a day, I would maybe trade three to five million, three to five million notional. Okay, futures, 
um, that was in long bonds. The futures, you put up one, two, three contracts to have those, that type of day because just the margin is so much better, so much leverage. So 15 contracts is a huge amount of buying power. Like today, when I'm trading around S&P and the NASDAQ, it was basically the most I got short S&P, ES is S&P, three contracts. The most I was long NASDAQ is three contracts. So I was trading with a total of six contracts. More over here. 15 contracts. So maybe you want something going on with the dollar or gold. You got room to move around. But the big thing that I like is this daily loss limit. So 3,000 gives me plenty of wiggle room. Um, you, I'll show you in a second. My drawdown was like $500 all today. But some days you might start off and then you have a, a knee bend, what I call it. You got to bend your knees before you leap sometimes. So sometimes you're going to go in negative territory. You got to be comfortable in negative, negative territory. It's this before you leap. You got to go down before you leap. Most people, they, if you only have a tight leash where you only have five buck, 500 bucks to lose, every time you trade, you need it to immediately go in your favor. It's just, it's not really a professional way to trade. This is a lot of room to day trade. And this is a lot of buying power for nothing. 375 bucks a month to be in business and trade 15 contracts. You would need to have quarter million to half a million dollar account. And some of you have a $5,000 account, you're doing Robin Hood, or you've got, you, you've been trading for a long time, but your futures accounts, maybe like 50 grand. Why would you risk all this when you can come here in 90 days be funded for $1,000? And you've got way more buying power than you, than you have on this side. So, <laughs> I like, I mean, you do both. This is good for day trading. There's, it's a little bit different overnight. You can't quite hold positions, but use, save that money, save your overnight positions here, but don't, again, you need, you need to tighten up your risk on your overnight stuff. You could, you could be trading micro accounts. They have a program for that too on a swing trade. This is a great program. All right. Um, been through it. I'll help you guys get through it. I hope all my chicken scratches make sense. So here's the deal I got for you. If you come to, <clears throat> where am I, where am I? Oh, what I wanted to show for, forget. On the stat side. So I'll teach you guys like what expectancy is. This is pretty good, 64% win rate. Um, it's not here, sorry. This one. Where's it going? Where's the max drawdown? Oh, 630. 630 today. So you can see if you're only trying to skimp it on a hundred bucks a month or whatever, you're, you would have stopped out today. You never even got a chance. And this dip was like early in the morning, pretty sure. So you would have got stopped out on your <clears throat> on your combine your live account and when you're trading 56 contracts this is not all at once i'm long and short usually one by one or one by two or like i said three by three was the most i got today you just need a little bit more room guys to trade professionally all right so i'll teach you how to do that <clears throat> um go to jenkinscm.com Oh, this is a long video. Sorry, we wanted to get a bunch of teaching in. Come to memberships, jenkinscm.com. Get access. Oops, that's the cycle edge room. So I have two memberships that are just like signal service, basically joining a chat analysis. I give you a live room a couple of days. All the good action is on the options edge team. 
which is I teach you how to trade the options around longer term positions and make much bigger percentage gains. And then the, the prop chip trading. And this is, um, so this is the new cyber week sale. So program's 3,500 Now I'm knocking 15% off. Plus I'm throwing in, like I said, I, I like, I like you guys upgrading your tech. I know it's Christmas. I thought, man, we better do it this week if anything's going to get shipped out. And, you know, just get yourself something nice for Christmas. Um, I'll give you two trading monitors I'll send to you. And I've always liked these HPs. I've had Dells. I've had the ViewSonics on both different desks. I never really was a big fan. This is what I use now, these HPs. And so I like this. Um, this you know, we were talking about physics and cycles. This is the quantum dot, which is kind of interesting to me. I'm a, I haven't, like, I've just seen them, but I haven't, I don't have one yet. I want to get one. But these are these, it's supposed to have nanoparticles that are different from most of the screens now that have larger particles. And then they have, like, because of the different frequencies, they emit and they alter light when they're exposed to electricity. So it's, it's, it's nicer than the, um, the LEDs. And anyway, I think that's cool. It's the quantum stuff is right in line with what we do as far as getting the cycles down and all the physics stuff that we have behind the model. So I'll send you guys out two of these um, as part of the program discount. So just jenkinscm.com. And you're getting a discount. You're getting all this, the Forex course, my Pi Cycles course, the entire institutional model. When I was running in several rates desks, I covered all the primaries, all these hedge funds, talked to all the big heads of the desk, any of the big of the big, SockGen, HSBC, Deutsche, BNP, on and on, Bank of America, City, TD. I talked to them all. These are your options course. You get all of that. You can be a part of both the programs, the prop team, the options team. It's literally 10 grand. And I've said this a million times. I just, I learned to trade Forex. I paid 12 grand. I got a weekend course. I got, I got access to the teacher of the course like twice a week after he was done trading, nothing in real time. And it was just basic stuff, but just in that material alone, I got like a couple setups out of there. I got the, I really got down the real money concepts, which I teach. I got down some of the topping tail takeout and um, just simple things I didn't know about Forex. So that's been worth millions over a career of trading. You know, I'm coming up on 40. So you guys can do this for the rest of your life. It's amazing value. I've paid 3,500 bucks just to learn business week, like how to price an option back in the college. And it was on a six DVD set. It was a joke. It was literally a guy standing up explaining like what a buy right is, which is cover call strategy. And that was it for two hours, but you got to invest in yourself. So this is a great program. You get time with me um, every day. We trade together. I'm going to help you get funded, get you capital. Get all the courses, go at your own speed. If you want to learn options, you want to learn Forex. And again, guys, this model, you can take to anything. So the value is there. And then just to make it sexy and because it's Christmas and you want to upgrade your tech, boom, I'll throw in these two monitors. Um, but this is probably only good for a couple of days. I don't want, I'm probably going to change up the deal by the end of the week. Um, you guys can comment too. Comment on the YouTube channel if you want to see something else going into this week and next. I'm happy to do a couple other bonuses. Some of you guys maybe, like I trade on the phone a lot. You wanna upgrade your iPhone, maybe I'll do an iPhone deal. You obviously laptop's a big deal. I might maybe do a laptop deal. But if you want the monitors and this appeals to you, take advantage of this today, tomorrow. Um, I'll hit on global macro. Talked about the top step. Um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, Jenkins CM prop team. Let me 
think that's everything. Uh, so cyclically, guys, into the end of the week, I was doing my studies on volatility. It just seems like the dealers are, everybody was really pricing in a lot of volatility for November and elections, and we didn't see it. So that it's been working itself off for a couple of weeks. And I don't see that changing into the end of the year. We're probably not going to get any big spike in volatility and risk off till maybe after January, the middle of January. It's lining up with the cycles that way. Any pullback is just being methodically bought. There's just no risk appetite. VIX is making lower highs. Um, so coming in being, again, being set up, buying the right dips on the NASDAQ has been working great. I'll teach you guys how to trade volatility. We've been shorting that. There's things like Amazon have been basing. Apple broke out finally. I think I think Amazon will follow. I'll probably be selling some puts on that tomorrow. You guys on the option edge will see that. Um, and then the other thing that's been working is the short long bonds. So we covered, so we were selling 30s and ultras here, the bands. Boom, boom, boom. Cover, cover, cover. These are simple covers at the pie line. You could also have gotten long 10 year notes. So you could be long 10s, short 30s is how I've been playing the curve. That's called a bear, uh, bear flattener. I'm sorry, bear steepener, bear steepener. Net short, but I was long 10s and then playing 30s more short. So long 10s, short 30s, buying 10s on the lows, shorting 30s. This is what we used to do on the fixed income desk. It's all the same directional stuff that's been working well. We sold a little bit of bonds today. I really want to see this daily cycle come back up though for that. And then the other thing that's been in play obviously has been short dollar, which I have not been short dollar. That's been the great, a lot of alpha this month. Um, is what it is. Kind of been in more of a dollar bowl and kind of missed this one. But I'm also playing the long side of gold, short side of silver. That's been fine. We've been trading that around pretty well. Gold's still actually in more of a bearish posture. We'll see if this was the low at 17 and three quarters. It's going to struggle in front of 1900 with this daily cycle. So came out a little bit of gold today. I wrote some calls up at 1900. And then just a little bit out of the money on silver. But that's against my gold long, which is fine. It should, probably should struggle here at 25. If you guys are, we made good covers into this low and then I reshorted maybe just a tad early, but this is actually a pretty good place to be short silver if you want to be long something against gold long. Um, down dollar has been great for stocks, been good for um, Bitcoin, not so good for gold, but it's finally catching a bid relative to the move it had last week. Still should be supportive of the metals. The problem with gold right now, though, is rates are rising. So that bearish picture I just painted in, in treasuries is kind of not helping the gold picture. If you were to get real rates to come back in a little bit and then yields to start falling, then gold doesn't have to compete with that. Anyhow, guys, hope that helps. Uh, have a great evening. I'll see some of you guys in the morning. Sign up, get involved. I'll get you out the monitors, get on the team. Start making some real money. We'll get you funded. We'll make next year the best year ever. When most most everybody else is fearful and we keep getting clamped down on our freedoms, let's help you get free financially. So that's the aim. That's the goal. I'd love to help you do it. Uh, if you got any questions, you can always go to jenkinscm.com under my content page. Join the Telegram, you can shoot me a message there or join the YouTube channel, reach out to me. My Twitter's here also. Um, and also I'm gonna start doing some more Periscopes to start the new year, probably a podcast. So anyway, guys, love to help. See you in the morning.